The Sleep In Hotel has been sold to Franciscan University and it could prove over time to be a major boost for students' education. That's where we begin tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Baker. And I'm Dylan Cleland. As the result of the sale, it's local leaders who will be getting a quick lesson in economics. News 9's Chloe Mesagaitis takes a look at some of the numbers and brings us more. With the recent purchasing of the Sleep In by Franciscan University, it's a positive for the university. But what about that 6% lodging tax that the city of Steubenville and the Visitor Center benefit from? We spoke to those in charge to find out how it will affect them. The 6% is split in half. In 2022, the tax generated more than $80,000. $40,000 going to the city and the other half to the Visitor Center. City Manager Jim Mavramatis told us what this means for the city. The way we, we look at this, what does that mean to the city not getting, say, $40,000? That's a position in the city. That means money has to come from somewhere else to backfill this because uh, these were funds that went into the general fund. Mavramatis says there's ways the city can manage, but the group who will really take the hardest hit is the visitor center. Director Judy Braddon is one of the two paid employees there and says this could really impact their outreach efforts. Well, we'll have to cut way, way back in our uh, marketing efforts, which already are kind of uh, minimal. Braddon says this wouldn't just be a loss for the city. We also uh, market the county. So things that are going on in the county, in Toronto, in Wintersville, this is an important part of, the, of our whole economic uh, concerns here in the county. They've been in talks with the city on how they will manage, but Braddon says they won't know the difference in income for two months. Braddon hopes this loss is temporary. The university has said that they are going to be opening up more rooms in the Best Western Franciscan Inn that were not open, and that might make up for the loss of the rooms at the uh, sleep in. But for the time being, they're preparing for both. I'm trying to budget um, with or without, trying to figure out which plan A or plan B. And while the future of more hotels or motels is unclear in Steubenville, Braddon and Mavramatis both say it's time to tighten up some of those budgets for some of those departments that benefit from this. In Steubenville, Chloe Mesagaitis, News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch, and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.